This Tranquil Talent is one of my favorite, very favorite projects. And you can do it on your own or you can do it with um, two people. So what I'd like you to do is with you and your child, I would like you to grab a piece of paper and two pens. I only have one right now because I'm just doing it by myself. But how you would do it um, with someone else is you would play tag. So you would mark here. You'd have put a little mark here and they would put a little mark here. And then you would, for 30 seconds, scribble around the page and they would chase you. And then you would switch for 30 seconds and then you would switch again for 30 seconds. And then you would just scribble all over the page and then you would look to see if you find anything familiar within the, the page. So I'm gonna do it with myself just to show you by example. And I want you to do this and upload this to the, um, the easy class. So I would start, so I would just scribble all over the page, continue scribbling, scribble, scribble, keep your pen on the page the whole time, just keep scribbling, and you have scribbles. And then you would say, okay, 30 seconds, and then you switch, and the other person would go, and you would chase them, and you just keep scribbling forever, and you just chase each other, and then you do it one more time, and they would chase you, um, you just keep going until 30 seconds, and then you would look at the page, and it would look something like this. So then what you would do is you would look at the page and see if there's anything that looks familiar to you and to them also. And how this works is um, this obviously looks like a bunch of scribbles, which could represent a, a bad day or a hard time or something you just can't get your focus on. And then you would look at it and you'd be like, oh, but that looks like, so then things start forming in your mind. So this looks like an eyeball. And you can, of course, add a couple details that aren't actually in there just to make it look more recognizable. So I see some sort of like dinosaur here, just a character. And so I outline it. And it's got ears, it's got a forehead. So see this guy here? So that was created just in there. The only thing I added was the eyeball here. So you just keep going until you, um, you run out of things that you see. So butterfly of sorts here. And as you see, as, you're a, as the child um, is doing this, they only see things they recognize. So if they're younger, you might, um, they might see a circle or a square or a triangle. But as they get older, then they might see more detail. So once you get stuck and you can no longer find anything in that angle, then maybe you turn the page and you see if you can find anything in that angle. And then you go in that angle. So they're across from you and you guys are both looking for things. And what this does is this helps them practice with their creativity also. Helps them, helps them recognize things that go on um, and predict things. So this right here is um, a very, very good practice for them to get into in um, seeing cause and effect or um, problem solving. So have fun with this. My, it's pretty much my absolute favorite. So I can't wait to see what you and your um, family come up with.